In an ideal world, everyone would be their own best therapist. Unfortunately, uh, there are many who can't remove themselves from their past, especially when there is trauma, known or unknown. These are the people that I help. People carrying the weight of trauma that is reverberating throughout their bodies in the most terrible ways, like illness, for example, addiction, and other self-destructive behaviors. Their pain is oftentimes hidden in their subconscious mind, yet it manifests in their everyday lives, in their bodies. Which is why the core of my work is directed toward removing those injurious thoughts, these self-destructive patterns that are causing a lifetime of suffering. I do this with hypnotherapy, clinical hypnotherapy, which is a form of a therapeutic intervention that is now coming to its own as accepted practice, even in places like the world-renowned Mayo Clinic, for example. With our current scientific understanding and with the universal acceptance of mind-body medicine in general, the door to the mainstream is now wide open to hypnosis. It's no longer thought of as a fringe phenomenon and thus has become, in many cases, the main intervention in reaching specific and often time complex therapeutic goals. I've seen the many benefits of so-called mind-body medicine, uh, like acupuncture, for example, massage or Qigong, while working at the Zakem Center for Integrative Medicine at the prestigious Dana-Farber Cancer Institute here in Boston. And it was a real opportunity to observe the state of the art of medicine. A real privilege. Uh, medicine both traditional, by the way, and alternative. It was clear that doctors and clinicians, they were totally dedicated to the care of their patients. Totally dedicated. It was also quite obvious. They dealt exclusively with either patients' bodies or patients' conscious mind, their rational thinking mind. Hypnotherapy, on the other hand, uniquely engages with the subconscious mind and with a reality that is unknown to the patient, even though it's wreaking havoc on their lives. I know how that feels. I know how that feels because I've had my fair share of personal trauma, having to fend for myself emotionally from a very young age. Fortunately, having grown up in Israel, where military service is mandatory, I ended up fighting all of my battles uh, in uniform, I can say. So my work is like a military campaign, ferreting out with surgical precision what's lurking in patient's subconscious mind and resolving it so their body can more readily and more swiftly recover. It's not only common knowledge nowadays, it's also research-based that emotional problems can fast become physical ones. In other words, the whole notion that people can be scarred by their past, it should not be taken lightly. It should not be taken lightly. It's the very reason why my approach to healing is intensive and exclusively focused on the root cause of suffering. The root cause of suffering. This applies, by the way, not only to cancer. It applies to cancer, yes. It also applies to addictions, to fears, to phobias, to lack of self-worth, self-sabotage, failing to reach certain life goals, dreams, personal or professional, even infertility. Hypnosis is the bridge, the bridge for your transformation as it will take you back in time to revisit past traumas, see them from a different perspective, resolve them. This is how they lose their power over you. The experience of doing so is not only freeing, the experience is not only freeing, it actually becomes your road ahead. A bottom line is, you can't fully bury the skeletons of your past. You can't, they fester and they can very well haunt you in the most unpredictable ways. My point is, don't wait on your fate. Don't wait on your fate. If my words resonate with you, if you wish to play a greater role in your own life, in your own healing and recovery, your next step forward is to set up a time for us to speak. And this will be an informal sort of a call to determine whether you are a ready candidate for this work, ready candidate for this program. I look forward to speaking with you.